My name is Peter Andrews and I'm a senior marketing lecturer at Hull University Business School. I'm often asked by students about where do I start to do research. Maybe that is for an assignment, an exam or a project or even an interview that you might be um, working on. So here's the three key things that you need to know. First of all is your reading list which um, every single module will have, and that's been put together, curated by your module leader, the library, and also databases, which we have for many of our subjects at the university. So I'm gonna show you each of these, and I'm gonna show you how to access them, particularly if you're not on campus. So it's, um, it's, sometimes it can be slightly more difficult, but I'm gonna show you how to do that anyway. So let's start off with reading lists before we go into library and databases, okay? So first of all, just open up a browser. So I'm gonna open up Google Chrome, and I'm gonna really show you how to do this by just typing everything into Google. So I said I was gonna look at reading lists. So if I just type in the word whole and reading lists, okay, it will take me to University of Hull, Talis, this is the reading lists, and it will take you to this page. Now, all you need to do here is remember the code of the module which you're actually looking for the reading list. I'm just going to type in one of mine, uh, 600563, and I can see, there we go, Digital Marketing UK. And um, all of your module leaders should have curated a list that looks like it, that looks like this, or very similar to it. And you can see here, everything is linked. So I've got my core text for this module, and you can see I've told you whether they're essential or recommended. And the good news is, all of these three books here are all available to view online. So if I click on view online, it would take me to the page that I need to go to access that book. All right, so I'm not gonna do that now, but you should be able to go through here. I've got prerequisite reading, other books which are interesting, equivalent reading, and then further reading, journal lists, and websites are all linked from here. So all of the key things that you're going to need for this module, I've put together um, in one single place. All right, so the um, second thing which I was looking at here was then the library. Now it's obvious that it's great to go to. We've got a fantastic library resource at the university, but you might not always be on campus. You might be somewhere else in the world, but you'll want to access our resources. All right, so go back to um, a new window, just type in whole library. Okay, and if I go down, on this page here, I can see it says, there we go, Library University of Hull. And you can see it takes us to a search page immediately. So you can you can browse things by subject area, you can go to exam papers, need journals and so on, but you might just have a query that you're interested in finding about. So for instance, now I'm interested in influencers and fashion, type that in and go to search. And it's going to take me to a page which has got all of the resources that I'm interested in. So everything will be on here and I can start to drill this down. So you can see on the right hand side, I can say, well, actually, I'm only interested in journal articles. All right. So it's going to go and search through those and I've got 5000 results. So I can start to narrow that down. I can go in, I can do it by month, I can go into by discipline, I can look at scholarly and um, peer reviewed only. So a really good place to start doing some of your research. Right, and then um, the final one that I mentioned here is databases. Okay, so I'm gonna go back uh, into Google Chrome and I'm gonna open up a new window. And I want you just to type in whole university, and because we're in business, I normally would type in marketing, but I'm just gonna type in business now. Business database. Databases, okay? Type that in there. And you can see it's the first hit, databases, University of Hull. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see that it's done by faculty. So I'm gonna to go to the top one of these, which is accounting and finance. Uh, I should be able to click on that. Okay, and what our great library's done here is they put together a list 
of all of the databases that are really going to be helpful to you in your research. Now, the ones in marketing, and I'll do separate videos for these showing you how to get into them, would be Mintel Academic, which is all about market reports, similarly, but um, more international reports here. Passport, formerly Gmail, or it's also called Euromonitor. And for marketing, we should have WARC, World Advertising Research Center there. Okay, so these are all your databases. You'll be able to click on those and they are going to be brilliant in helping you with your research. Great, so hopefully you found that extremely helpful. If you have any other questions, you can always contact me and um, good luck with your research.